Welcome back, art fans. Steve here from NVIDIA. When you think about getting away, what comes to mind? A beach resort? A mountain cabin? Well, we're about to meet some amazing artists who take getting away to a whole new level. And all it takes to get there is a little imagination and a whole lot of talent. Christian Dimitrov is the perfect case in point. From his fantastical natural elements to the way light interacts with his landscapes, Christian's works all include a bit of reality, a lot of fantasy, and even a hint of magic. Just look at the translucent glow of the mushroom-like pools in this piece and the otherworldly sunrise. His inspirations from fine art, cinema, and architecture to the never-ending beauty of nature and his command of tools like Cinema 4D, Blender, and Octane all come together beautifully. Whether he's taking us on a journey to a sacred clearing, an underwater world, or a frigid mountaintop, we can see and feel his mastery of composition, color, and storytelling that brings every scene to life. Next up is Vera Diminchuk whose pieces all feature not only amazing attention to color and detail, but also a dramatic sense of scale. I'm blown away by the beauty of the Art Deco style architecture in this castle, as well as the bridge and statues that surround it. Even the landscape is meticulously rendered to create a fully immersive fantasy environment. We can also see this in her piece called Lonely Temple which uses stunning golden hour lighting to create a really beautiful but isolated environment. Vera shows her impressive range by moving from traditional fantasy worlds to something with a bit of a sci-fi edge that's a little harder and darker. It doesn't just tell the story of a fantasy world, but also a main character on a path to adventure or danger. Either way, I'm on board for the journey. If color helps tell a story, then Brandon Tia is a master narrator. Bright crimson and orange, hushed blues and grays, lush greens. Each color helps set the mood of the scene, which he then builds on with stunning detail and imagination. We see hints of his love for video games, anime, and manga throughout, but Brandon's style is truly unique and beautiful. While we see a character in some scenes, it feels like they're mainly there for scale and context. Maybe even to suggest that we're looking at a snapshot of some larger quest. But it's the powerful use of color that's the real hero of each image. To paraphrase Eddie Mendoza, quote, I want to create worlds that are both fantastical yet grounded, where the architecture feels functional and characters eke out a living, go to the market, or govern vast kingdoms within them." Unquote. Sound a little unusual? It's nothing compared to his actual artwork. These creations are fantasy at its best, full of mood and fascinating buildings and contrasting lighting from a village controlled by a malicious puppeteer to a town where magical citizens hone their craft. His vision and fascination for Asian and European cultures lend themselves to his unique mix of hyper-realism and illustration, not to mention his wonderful imagination. Come on, a witch paddling down a quiet stream in a gloomy medieval setting? What's well, not the love? Do you have some fantastic creations you want to show? Go ahead and share your artwork and your inspiration at hashtag StudioShare. And be sure to follow us at NVIDIA Studio to see what else we have in store for you.